Hello viewers, you're welcome to another episode of our program, Make Your Life Count. This is your host, Bola Grace. In my last video, I talked about finding your purpose. I explained why it is very important for you to know the reason of your existence. I explained how you can get to know the reason of your existence, that is by going to your source, which is your, which is the God, uh, the Almighty God. He is your source. He's your Father. He created you. He is the only one that can tell you the reason why you are existing. And I told you the 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 importance of knowing the reason of your existence. Now, if you don't know why you are existing, you will be useless. That will not be your portion. The person with the person will not be able to fulfill destiny. The person, if you, the person that doesn't know the reason why he's assisting, would not know if he's cultivating the wrong, going to uh, to the wrong path or cultivating another person's farm. So, therefore, it is very important for you to know the reason of your assistance, so that you will know where to function, and you'll be able to brand yourself very well. You'll be able to lay. A, pos um, a, a good example for people to follow. You'll be able to leave a very good legacy behind you when you are gone. These are the importance of knowing the, of the purpose of your creation. So today we want to talk about embracing your purpose. Now you have known why God created you. You have known that mission that God sent you to this world to fulfill. It doesn't stop there. There is a need for you to embrace your vision, to embrace your purpose. Why do we need to? Because if you say that, oh, the Lord has told me that this is my calling on earth. This is why he created me. This is what he wants me to do on earth. You have known it. You've gone to God. God has told you the reason why he sent you to the world. Can this purpose fulfill itself? No. There is a part for you to play. You have a part to play. You can't just sit and fold your hand after you have known the purpose of your calling. Therefore, today we want to talk about embracing your purpose. You need to take action. There is a, a part for you to play. And what part? To embrace it. To embrace your purpose. What do we mean by embracing, emb embracing purpose? The, uh, the Oxford def, um, Dictionary defined embrace as willing, accepting somebody willingly. Accepting somebody willingly with affection, with love. Accepting somebody without being forced. You are accepting the person or that, that means you, are, you want to accept your vision willingly. You want to accept your vision with love. You want to accept your vision without being compelled or being forced to do so. You know, knowing your, your calling is not enough. You have to embrace it. You have to accept it. You have to love the, the, your calling. You have to love your purpose. You have to be affectionate about your purpose. You have to be passionate about it. It has to be something that you love to do. So now we are talking, saying that you need to embrace your vision. Your vision should be something that you will hold tight into your heart. It should, it should be something that will be dear in your heart. It is something that you have to that you have love, that you just find yourself doing it easily. You just, it's, your vision has to be uppermost in your heart. Your purpose, it has to be something that you just can't stop thinking about, you just can't stop doing, you just can't stop um, looking for a way to do something positive about. That is when you are embracing your vision. Because if you just say, oh, the Lord has shown me why I'm living, and you are there doing nothing about it. It will be there. And nothing, you know, nothing move until you move it. There is nothing that can move until you, somebody is there to push or move it. So if you don't take action, if you don't take relevant action, the purpose will be there useless. And do you know what? 
the Lord sent you to meet some need on earth. So the world is waiting for that purpose to manifest. The world is waiting. There are some people waiting for, for, for the manifestation of your purpose. They are there to benefit from your purpose. So if you don't take any action, if you are doing nothing about this, your purpose, then those people, though the, the, the Lord cannot be stranded, if you refuse to do it, he will raise somebody else to do it. But may we not be replaced in the name of Jesus. So the, you need to embrace your purpose. Hold it tight. The definition of em uh, embrace means holding something tight. Holding something tight without being forced. Holding it willingly, enthusiastically, without being forced or being compelled to do it. Therefore, that is why it is important for you to know why you are living. Because if you, are, if you don't know why you are really living, you, maybe you are in another place, you are another, in another calling. It will become a struggle for you to, because that is not your area of strength. But if it is something that the Lord has called you to do, definitely you will be able to embrace it with love. You will be able to embrace it passionately. You will be able to embrace it willingly without being forced to do it. So maybe you're thinking now, how can I embrace my vision? How can I embrace my purpose? The number one um, point is you have to be passionate about it. You know, passion is a very powerful zeal that makes people to be able to, to achieve their destiny. When you are passionate about something, you don't take no for an answer. When you are passionate about something, even if there are hurdles and, and a boundaries or a problem, you would make every effort to solve the problem. Whatever mountain that is facing you, so far you are passionate about that thing, you will make that mountain to become plain. Because you know you would not, passion doesn't take no for an answer. There is nothing called impossible when it comes to um, when it comes to being passionate about something. You will not even take no. Everything will be, will be impossible. Will be you will be changed to um, possible. So the first step is be passionate about it. Make sure that it is something that you are genuinely called to do. Because if you are not called to do it, you will be struggling. You will even be thinking of it. You, it. Whenever you think of it, oh, I want to go and start this thing, you will not be happy in your heart. So when it is, when it is your vision, when it is your God-chosen um, vision for your, for your life, it becomes so easy. You will be able to, to do it passionately. That is the first one. You need to embrace it with love and affection. And the second point is, you need to, to get a mentor. Get a mentor. Look for somebody that has done something. There is nothing new under the, under the earth. That vision, that purpose that you want to fulfill, there has been somebody that has done it before. Go around, study their, their biographies, read about them. If they are close to you, if you know how to get uh, um, in contact with them, ask them questions. So that where they failed, you will, not, you will use that their um, story to, to strengthen yourself. The mistake that they made, you won't be able to make it again. So you need to get a mentor. Get a mentor in line with what you are doing. Nobody is an island of knowledge. You cannot just do it alone. So that's number two point, get yourself a mentor. The number three point says, you need to hold your purpose tight in your heart. Hold it tight. Do not let it slip off your heart. Do not let it slip off your hand. Don't get distracted. Don't get discouraged. Let's, don't think, oh, this is the thing that is in vogue now. People are doing it and they are making it. Don't get carried away. Fix your gaze on on uh, on your own vision fix your gaze on your own purpose hold it tight in your heart habakkuk to, to say write it down make it plain write down whatever you want to do about it set goals that is number four, the fourth point set goals 
And when you are setting goals to, to achieve your, your, your purpose, when you are setting goals to embrace your purpose, you have to be real. You have to be real. If you set goals that you know that is not achievable in two weeks, and you are struggling to achieve it in two weeks, maybe the goal is meant to be achieved maybe for in two months, and you set it to, to achieve it in two weeks, you will be frustrated. You get It will get boring. You get tired. You get pissed off. So when you are setting your goals, be real to yourself. Set your goal, long, I mean, I mean short, medium, and long-term goal. What am I saying? Weekly, daily, start from daily goals. Long, short, medium, and long. Okay, this today, I want to achieve this. Make sure that the goal is achievable. Don't go, don't, don't exaggerate it. Set your short goal, daily goals. Daily, you have to do something con positively concerning the, the, the purpose every day. Don't be like, you, if you are like those ones that will come to maybe this minute today, I want to, I'm doing something concerning my purpose and I won't go back to it until maybe in six months. Ach ach uh, to achieve such goal, it's going to be difficult. You will be derailed, you will forget it. So you have to be passionate. You have to do something concerning your uh, purpose every day, daily, no matter how little. Do something concerning, something positive concerning your purpose. Don't let it just lie down untouched. The next thing, weekly goal. This week, I want to achieve this. Let it be realistic. Set month, monthly goals. At the end of the month, I want to be here. If you are writing a book, this week, uh, this, uh, today, I want to write a page of my book. Make sure that nothing will stop you from writing a page a day. That is what we say. You are, that is when you are setting goal. If you set a goal and you are doing nothing, the goals will be there. The goals cannot achieve themselves. You have to set it and you have to take necessary action to achieve it. A goal that is set without action is just useless. It's as if you are building a castle in the, in the, in the wind, in the air. Set short, medium, and long-term goal. And at the end of the day, by the time you couple everything together, you will achieve that goal. So I've talked about setting your goals. And I've said you have to be real, be realistic when you are setting your goals. Set achievable goals. Get yourself a book. Call it vision book. Call it anything you want to call it. Just put everything down there. This week I want to have this one. Today I want to do this 